Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 64th tutorial in this course and uh, in this tutorial we're going to see how we can insert data in a SQL table using PHP. So, you know, pretty much the entire thing is the same as we had in the last tutorial. So, you know, you have to initialize all your variables at the top and then, uh, you know, you have to execute some SQL code. And, uh, you know, there is really nothing that I have changed except that, you know, the die function here has uh, the MySQLI underscore error function to see the error in case, uh, you know, this SQL uh, does something funny. And uh, the SQL, of course, is different. So on line number 18, I have created the SQL variable. And, uh, you know, I haven't used the concatenation and the assignment operator. I've just, you know, used uh, concatenation. And that's why I, I don't have the semicolon here. So, you know, this string is going to be concatenated with this string is going to be concatenated with this string. So that's what's going to happen. And uh, the query is very simple. I have uh, insert into keywords and then the name of the table in which we're going to insert data. So if you remember, the student underscore info table had two records. One was for John, the other one was for Alex. And now we're going to add another record for uh, Phil. So the ID for Phil is going to be three because the ID for John was one, the ID for Alex was two, and ID, as far as I remember, was the primary key for the table. So it has to take a different value. It can't take either one or two. So I've given it the value three. The name is Phil. The date of birth for Phil is 1991, uh, 24 June, and uh, Phil is male, and the email address of Phil is phil at gmail.com. Right, so this is our SQL query, and uh, we executed using the MySQLI underscore query function, and of course we saved the results in the RES variable. This is something that we've uh, done like so many times now, and uh, then I have an if statement on line number 22, which is going to check whether this query was executed successfully or not. If it wasn't exec uh, executed successfully, then we're going to display the message query failed along with the error uh, that we. Uh, you know, get from MySQL. So, you know, if there was some problem with this query, then MySQL would return an error. If we would remove this, then we would just see the message query fail. But if you would include it, then we would see like a little more explanation. And uh, then in the else block, we are just going to display the message data inserted successfully, right? So let me go to my browser and execute this query. So instead of create underscore table dot PHP, we're going to run insert dot PHP now. And uh, when I press the enter key, I see data inserted successfully, right? That's what I see. And uh, in order to verify whether this data was actually inserted in the table or not, I'm going to bring up uh, another tab and I'm going to refresh this script, improved underscore fed script. If you remember this script, uh, we used it to obtain information from the table. So if I refresh it, then we should see another record for uh, fill. And when I do refresh it, I see exactly that. So the ID for Phil is three, uh, the age is 24, Phil is male, and uh, phil at gmail.com is Phil's email address, right? And uh, if I would try to execute this query again, then I would get an error. And the reason for that is, as I said, ID is the primary key for the table. So, you know, if you would try to reinsert a row which has the value three for ID, then, uh, you know, MySQL is going to return an error to us. And that's why we see the message query failed, uh, which is the string we had in the die function. But we also see, you know, a little more explanation. So we see duplicate entry three for key primary. And you could have another record for fill. There's absolutely no problem with that. You could have someone with the same date of birth, someone with the same email address, someone with the same name. But you just cannot have another row in the table with the same value uh, of ID as fill. So you can't have three now in the table for any other student, right? So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys had fun and you may subscribe to my channel if you have already. I'm going to discuss uh, more cool things with you uh, in the coming tutorials and uh, I'll see you soon. Till then, take care.